Hey folks, BFG Neil here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about SD card replacement. Uh, I've had this original hotspot in for about a year now, and it's starting to give me some signs that the SD card may be worn, uh, the writes it's performing are just not keeping up, and I think it's ready for a new SD card. So I've got these 64 gig A2 rated cards ready to go in. But before we get there, the first thing I wanna talk about, does your hotspot need an SD card replacement? 99% of the time, it's not. This, this unit's been in for a year, and I'd say if you've been running it any less time than that, generally you won't need an SD card replacement. It's very important that you check the setup of your hotspot first. So use a tool like Helium Status or Hotspot E, check the connection, check things like Relay. These can cause these issues that seem like an SD card, but generally it's your connection to the network. So what I don't want to do from this video is give um, the manufacturers more support issues for you asking for for firmware or, or, or if you need an SD card replacement. So check the basics first and talk to them. At the end of the day, they'll be able to tell you exactly if you need an SD card replacement and 99% of the time that is not needed. Yeah, and this is all you need to get going. So we've got a 64 gigabyte SD card that's A2 rated and uh, I'm gonna replace it in the original hotspot here. I'll show you documentation on how to do this on a rack as well. But yeah, 64 gig A2 rated card. The only other thing you'll need is a decent screwdriver because the holes are quite deep. So to get a screwdriver in there, you might need something specific. So we're gonna follow the guide for Helium hotspots. This is for originals. So there's a guide on how to replace the SD card in a Helium hotspot. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver or a T8 bit screwdriver and some strong fingernails or tweezers. I definitely found this easier with tweezers myself. It's quite in there and you have to be very careful when putting it back in that it goes in the slot. And just underneath the guide on how to do that is um, what program to use, which is Bellina Retcher, and where to get the firmware image from. Now I know Waveform keeps this up to date regularly, so thanks again for doing that Waveform. And normally you can just copy this link to grab the latest firmware. So we just paste it in the browser and download it to our computer. And the next thing we're gonna do is download Bellina Retra. Bellina Retra is the uh, imaging software that flashes the firmware to the card. It's nice and easy to find, just bellina.io forward slash Etra. And I'll put all of these links in the description so that it should be easy for you to find. And then install Bellina Retra and this is, this is a UI. Uh, you click flash from file, select the file that you've just downloaded, select the target, which is the SD card, and then click flash. One important thing that I want to point out here while we have the time is that once you flash the SD card and replace it in a hotspot, if you had this on Wi-Fi before, it will not remember the Wi-Fi network. So when deploying, if you were using Wi-Fi before, you should really set the Wi-Fi up again. I'd never recommend Wi-Fi, but I just wanted to point that out just in case you were using Wi-Fi on it. Settings such as the hotspot's name and what wallet it's attached to will stay the same. It's just the Wi-Fi connection details that will be lost. So at first it'll flash the card and then it just verifies that what it flashed to the card is, is working correctly. It takes a few minutes, but generally it's quite a quick process. As you can see, we're only flashing 1.08 gig, which is mostly used by the blockchain. So there's a blockchain.db file and that's where um, a copy of the chain is stored currently. Uh, eventually in quarter one 2022 this is going away but for right now it's important to have that extra space to stop it from resyncing so often and that's it done it's flashed it it's validated it and we're ready to put the sd card back in the hotspot now i didn't have a rack handy so thanks for dman for this footage but this just shows you how that you can change the sd card on a rack without having to take the whole thing apart so at the very bottom of a rack there's actually just a little cover over the sd card slot so you could open that up and put the sd card in there just be really careful when you're putting the sd card back that you're actually getting it in the slot not just underneath it And that's it done. We have a SD card back in our hotspot, ready to put it live. Uh, I hope you found this guide useful. If you'd like to see anything more, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'd love to see some comments about what kind of videos you'd like. And thanks again. Bye.